the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Mike Tyson's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Locks it away. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Finish with a hook. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Isaac Frost giving his opponent headaches here. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. Mike Tyson's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. A flush hook scores well for him. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Fires right back at him. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ross taking more and more punishment as this round continues. This fight could be over soon. And you just know the referee's taking a real close look at it, right? Solid. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Isaac Frost back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. A good block. What an impact that left hand just made by Mike Tyson. Defense, defense. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. That is a strong uppercut there. Cut. How about that exchange? Good combination on the one-two by Mike Tyson. Isaac Frost's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Did you see that? He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. End of round two. Frost's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cover scene. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Relax, relax. Relax. Just got to relax. You got to move out there. All right, move, move, move. Yeah, keep moving. Breathe now. Breathe. You good? Can we go? I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. A well-timed right hand by Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, a huge hook to the body. Nice, nice.
good solid uppercut from Isaac Frost, wasn't it? He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Isaac Frost was nearly knocked down right there, but instead, oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Tyson's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Mike Tyson's able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.